you're a Motherwell fan, they've had 41 goals in their last 10 matches. That's forward for Sutton, Ambrose misjudged it. John Sutton finds the back of the net early on against the champions. Fraser Forster beaten. He got a hand to the shot by John Sutton, but the Englishman has his 20th goal of the season. Perhaps Forster should have done better. Ambrose certainly should have. But it's Sutton who gives Motherwell the lead. Hamill, first time forward. Van Dijk's missed it this time. And now it's Francis Angol. 2-0 on the brink of half-time. Motherwell are right back in the race for second. Anier chasing the long ball, which Van Dijk had mistimed. It found its way through to Zane Francis Angol, just his third goal for the club. And that could be huge in this game. Stokes dropping deep. Back from Brown. Good return. Stokes clipping one to the back post and finding the net. Anthony Stokes with a remarkable finish. If he meant it, you can be the judge. Brilliantly picks out the far corner. Could have been a cross. Anthony Stokes, I'm sure, will claim it was a shot. McManus away. Stokes' volley. Samaras! It's 2-2 now. Ten minutes into the second half. Georgia Samaras scores for the second successive game. Celtic from two down, our level. He just diverted Stokes's volley. And Nielsen was utterly helpless. Van Dyke. Stokes takes a touch through. Griffiths! The comeback is complete. And Lee Griffiths will be in the headlines for all the right reasons this week. Stokes. And the ball nicked off him by Vigers. And Griffiths was the man hungry to get onto the loose ball. And he tucked it away oh so well. Just read Motherwell aren't finished yet. Ainsworth with his pace. Perfect ball through. Ainsworth across. Sutton turns it in. It's 3 3. Such drama at Fir Park, what a finish, what a 90 minutes it has been. And Motherwell are level, John Sutton, who started the scoring, finishes it all off. Three all between Motherwell and Celtic, what a contest. Weatherspoon with the free kick, Anderson's free, and he finds a way past the goalkeeper, it's Steven Anderson who opens the scoring and gives St Johnson a psychological edge ahead of the Scottish Cup final. O'Halloran. Now Craig. Dave Mackay. Possession football from St Johnson and now they burst into life. Weatherspoon to Mackay. And now Stevie May and that's the second goal. The point should be safe now, 14 minutes from time. It's Stevie May with number 26 of the season and what a week he has had. It's three games without a goal for Hibbs. As they look not to get drawn into this relegation playoff spot. Forward from McGinn, Stephen Thompson wins it and knocks it down for Kenny McLean. The Hibernian defence was completely absent. And Kenny McLean strikes on 13 seconds. What a start for St Mirren. What a disaster for Hibbs. Thompson did well. McLean brilliantly controlled on the half volley. Forster turns back inside, has played himself into trouble there. 
Kenny McLean looking to pounce here. It's McGowan past the outstretched Ben Williams. 2 0 St Mirren inside a quarter of an hour. And it's Paul McGowan with the second goal. And Hibernian are in deep, deep trouble now. Yeremenko's delivery finds its way all the way over to Maximenko, who opens the scoring for Kilmarnock. Nine minutes into the second half, the Latvian has his first goal since joining on loan from Brighton and Hove Albion. Higginbotham and Taylor Sinclair, but it will be Higginbotham, and it squeezes all the way through. Just three minutes after they went behind, Partick Thistle are level, and it's Callum Higginbotham. Lyle Taylor on as a substitute. Into Erskine, now Bannigan. Back to Erskine. McMillan. Higginbotham pulls wide. Looking to tease Tesselar, gets to the byline, good ball in, Taylor Sinclair! And surely the winner for Partick Thistle, Aaron Taylor Sinclair, with a rare goal for the left back. It's Jamie Hamill. Oh, brilliantly sent into the roof of the net. Hearts have the lead on 65 minutes, and it's Jamie Hamill with the goal. Robinson's header, finds Carrick, could be a break on here. Walker to Robinson, great chance here. Teed up for Carrick, this to finish the game, and he does emphatically. What a fine finish from Dale Carrick. The points are safe for the ten men of Hearts. Ross County find themselves down in 11th place in the table now.